So continuing the Phoenix and Rogue story, um, one of the problems that Anita had, as the owner, had with the dogs was <coughs> people coming in the house. Like the dogs would typically, like most people, the dog would be put behind a baby gate or in the kitchen in another room and then would uh, door go, would go and the dog would go crazy. So what we've done here is we've been working over the last couple of days as well working on everything but I'm just going to show you she doesn't know that I'm recording here and uh, I'm going to go and knock the door and I want to see her uh, let's see her reaction how good she's doing with the door compared to when I first came the dogs were there Phoenix in fact was trying to get at me and have a bite they've also got um, what you saw in the videos yesterday a little Tinkerbell who's like a wee chihuahua I think she's maybe crossed by Jack Russell um, so, uh, and she's a wee barker, but it'll be interesting to see what she does, right? Pull it. Right, let's see how she goes. So. <sighs> can hear them sniffing at the door. <laughs> I'm filming you under pressure. Yeah. Very good. Go on. Wow, this is better. What? Or even Tinkerbell's doing well. Yeah. So the boys are doing very well. Yeah. Phoenix at the head of the line there. Much better. Now, what I would do there with, with him is I would turn towards him and just shush him back a bit more. That's it. That's enough, yeah? Just because he's he's beautiful, wonderful, but he's still a wee bit... He knows me a bit, but he's a wee bit tense. Yeah. And just that snap out of it. That helped. Stop it. Remember with her, all you would do is add in the wee slip lead or something and go sharp. But I mean, that's beautiful. It's much, much better. Look at him looking for direction rather than being naughty, you know, yeah. which is much, much nicer. Hey, dude. Come on. So. Much, much more relaxed. Yeah. 